Just out of time, Iris Superintendent of Bellevue Community School District coming you coming to you with this week's Believe in the Blue update. I want to give an update on upcoming events uh, and everything like that. So we'll start with those right now. Tomorrow evening we have seventh grade middle school basketball home versus North Cedar. Our eighth grade travels to North Cedar. Last night our high school teams played out there. The varsity girls won a, a close game, 38-35, and our boys lost a close game to North Cedar. So uh, we do have home games for basketball coming up on Friday versus Wilton. That is also senior night. But um, so that leads into Friday. Then also Friday we have a, a fresh soft and JV varsity games all the way around starting at 4.30. Varsity girls starting at 6. Varsity boys roughly 7.30. Uh, at, on Saturday we have the honor band at Warpick. Some students are going up to that. We also have wrestling varsity sectionals. That's to move on to the next round before you move on to the state meet that way. And that is at Cascade. So Coach uh, Rebarger and the crew are on their way there. So again, they had a uh, school record 16 wins this year as a team, which is amazing. Uh, has done a very nice job overall with that whole group that way. On Monday, we have 8th grade basketball home versus Monticello. 7th grade basketball goes to Monticello. And then on next Tuesday... We have a bowling varsity uh, conference meet. That's at Cascade. Uh, we have middle school basketball, boys and girls home against Easton Valley. There are folks from Preston and Miles and Sibula come up this way. Then we have JV and varsity girls uh, uh, at Iowa City Liberty on next Tuesday night. The JV varsity boys play at Monticello that night. So we have all kinds of games going on, but girls and boys going separate ways against separate teams, which is unique in our situation. We usually play everything the same. Next Wednesday evening or a week from tonight is a PTA meeting at the elementary at 6 o'clock. And then moving on from there, next Thursday we have a home bowling meet. Go down to Horizon Lanes, check things out, maybe grab something to eat while you're down there too. Watch the bowling meet. We have a home meet down there against Durant. And then we have middle school basketball at Cascade. On Friday the 9th, we have home middle, uh, excuse me, middle school basketball at Marquette in Bellevue, but at Marquette that way. And then next Saturday the 10th, we have an archery tournament at home and then wrestling districts for those that advance in first or second place at sectionals go in the wrestling districts at Jessup. So a lot of things going on that way. I want to talk uh, uh, just a little bit about a few other things. We have a board meeting coming up on, uh, on February 12th that way coming up to look at my calendar uh, at that meeting we will talk about the building project or what we've been doing so far with that we're going to continue to move on with that and what the next steps will be uh, just as we look ahead to things that way if we would would look to move forward that would be a bond referendum coming up and that referendum would likely happen in September or maybe not till December we have to decide that but it could happen in September there's only certain times of the year when you can do that but we will have more community meetings, more community engagement meetings to find out what people want and also talk about the current elementary building. What's going on with that? Have some plans working on those right now with some people outside of the district that way to help renovate and restore that that way. So some real positive things happening in our district right now. I just want to emphasize that. And uh, um, I Yesterday I was uh, in Des Moines in the late afternoon, early evening, came back last night. Uh, I met with some... Uh, with uh, Iowa, School Board, Iowa School Board Association and others like that about the legislative session going on, finding out what's happening there, uh, anywhere from school vouchers to uh, state supplemental aid, what we're going to get in that regard, to uh, uh, teacher requirements, state assessments, which has been ongoing for about four or five years right now. Ever, ever since I became superintendent, we've been going back and forth with what we're doing, and we're still going back and forth. It was given to a company called AIR, now uh, uh, Pearson has, another company has sued, it's in court. Now the, the, legislati the legislatures are saying that they would like it to be with uh, the Iowa assessment. So uh, where that stands right now, anybody's guess. So we'll go from there, but I just want to let everyone know. On the facility stuff, check out our website. Go to my page, superintendent's page. At the bottom of my drop-down, there's facilities information. All kinds of information there. Check it out that way, too. Why I take just a... Um, quick moment, just I think I shared some of this last week too, the innovator's mindset uh, about creativity here. Um, and I just want to read a couple quotes to you here. If, if what's best for learners is our primary concern, equity of opportunities will be created at the highest of levels, not the lowest. We need to create opportunities that everyone has. Uh, we need to create opportunities that meet the student needs at the same time. And those are some key things. And we try to do that in many ways. And always, I guess you would say, we need to meet the needs of our learners and what can we get for them. 
Uh, not everyone is ready at the same time for the same thing, and we are continually looking at that, analyzing that, and reviewing where that's at. Uh, and a, a final one here, the three most important words in education are relationships, relationships, relationships. Without them, we have nothing. And I think that's a very uh, key component of a school district our size, developing those relationships with our students uh, as professionals, but also relationships outside in the community as well, and having our students out in the community, having our adults out in the community. That community involvement is a key for the success not only of our students and their learning here, but our entire community, and getting our students out in, into the community to learn from many of our community members is the best thing that can possibly happen. Uh, we try to do that. We continue to work on doing that more and more. And if you ever need any of our students for any reason to help out, or you have an idea for learning, if you want to come speak to our students, let us know. We reach out to several people as well, but let us know. Uh, I appreciate your time today. Have a great week. Hopefully snow over the weekend stays away. We'll go from there. Still no snow days to this point. So the last day of school right now is still May 29th for students. Uh, and looks like next year's start date will probably be August 23rd unless there's changes in the legislative session saying we can start the first day after the state fair, which would be roughly August 20th. Don't know if we would do that anyway, but right now it looks like August 23rd is our first uh, date for next school year, and hopefully, hopefully we are out on May 29th this year too with students. Have a great one, everyone.